More on this, let's speak to Geraint Jones. He's a professor in economics at Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. Uh, Mr. Jones, Professor Jones, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So George Osborne's tried to smooth out the ground. Is he going to have any effect? The pound has been tanking. Yes, the pound is down 12% uh, from its peak just before the results of the Brexit referendum came out. And this is going to have clear implications for the course that the economy takes over the coming months and beyond. Uh, what is particularly important, I think, is that the government reaches a quick decision on where it intends to go, which of the options for a post-Brexit world it intends to take. There are three basic options. There's to remain within the European economic area, a kind of Norway solution. The option to develop a free trade arrangement, similar to that of Canada with the European Union. Or thirdly, the option to go just with WTO rules. And these will have different levels of costs for the UK economy. By far the least costly, and therefore for the economy the best one to go for, would be to pursue the European economic area route. But this that does have the problem that it requires Britain to have free mobility of labour. So it it wouldn't do anything to solve the concerns that people expressed during the referendum debate about immigration. Uh, so I think it would be uh, worthwhile investigating with the European Union the possibility of a work around that, possibly allowing a temporary pause in the free mobility uh, conditions that are required within the European economic area. That, but the word that's been thrown around a lot today, Professor Jones, is uncertainty. And while they investigate, as you put it, those are possibilities, that uncertainty continues. Where's your gut on this? What do you think they should be doing? And you mentioned that it should be quickly. Which one do you think they should go for? I think they should go for a, a European economic area solution because that is the least costly in economic terms. But it is vital now that the people have spoken that we do something to address this issue of migration. Uh, certainly migration has done a lot to help the British economy in the past, but people have legitimate concerns about that, about the pressure it puts on public services in local areas and so on. So it's vital uh, to follow the democratic process and to make sure that some accommodation even within the European economic area is made for those concerns and that will require some thinking out of the box it will also require some flexibility on the part of the European Union in their negotiations absolutely and then finally uh, Professor Jones it's slightly out of your area but I think you can help us with it if the UK is able to get that kind of negotiated uh, settlement that you'd like where they stay in the area but are able to manage migration won't other countries then start asking for that and then we'll see the implosion of the EU as it stands that is the danger that the European Union negotiators will, will perceive. Uh, but I think it, it is vital that we make some kind of accommodation here. And there are many other countries within the European Union that I think would be sympathetic to a relaxation of that constraint. OK, well, Professor Jones, we thank you so much for joining us from Lancaster University there. Thank you.